Oh my god, he has so much damage. What do we do? We have no tech. Whoa, <laughs> we're playing uh, Mecha Thundral. Well played. You don't expect to go against this in Legend. Make sure you like and subscribe, I'll be your best friend for the rest of your life, and we got more videos coming a lot more frequently here. Right off the bat we got Mechathon Mage. Not the most competitive deck, but after hitting rank 300 Legend this month, uh, long story short, we got bored, so we created this masterpiece. The win condition is you use Mechathon with three Galves, which is possible with the Brewmaster on one of the Galves. Gets you a seven cost Mechathon that you can use with a Ray of Frost and a Snap Freeze. This deck has a ton of draw power, so with the Book of Spectres, worst case scenario, if you mill two Ray of Frost or two Snap Freeze, what you can do is use the second Brewmaster on the Galve, get it down to a six cost, and then your combos become six cost Mechathon with uh, two snap freezes or uh, frost bolt into snap freeze or even worst case scenario we got the voodoo doll in here with the shooting stars what we'll do is we'll normally save a book of specters till the end there in case some of our draw power is the last card in the deck we don't want to take too much damage to fatigue so what we'll do is we'll mill our draw power cards at the end of the game with one of the book of specters will only really be possible to mill three cards in our deck with the first one so out of the two snap freezes and two shooting stars, as long as you can keep one of them, four cards can only mill three, it's perfectly possible. The draw power for the deck is two arcane intellects, which nets you four cards, two book of specters for six, two research project, which gets you four cards, and the novice engineer. So altogether, that's 15 cards right there out of the 30 in your deck. You'll start the game with four or five, because you draw one. So yeah, that's 19 or 20 cards out of your deck. You do have the Stargazer Luna, which can mill you your entire deck if you get lucky. With the uh, Book of Spectres, it is possible to mill the Arcane Intellect, the other book, or the Research Project. Let's say it's a 10 turn game, that's already like 28 or 29 cards out of your deck without the Luna. And then like, let's say you mill a few of your Intellects or your other book. You just use the Luna to draw 5 cards and that's your whole deck right there. Brewmaster, Magic Trick, also great cards to combo with the Luna to just draw those extra cards because they'll put cards in the rightest side of your hand. Wild Pyromancer helps you kill anything left in your deck if your opponent wises up and stops you from pulling off the Seathon combo. So let's get right into it here. Just to show that this deck is uh, perfectly viable, we're gonna troll some Legend people. Okay, Paladin, not bad. He's probably running a mech variant there. No. Don't really need Frost Bolt. Don't really need Magic Trick. We'll save onto Arcane Intellect because it's uh, some extra draw power there. Two for one's always good. Source Apprentice lets you apply some early pressure. Wild Pyromancer is beautiful there with the coin and the. Uh, we draw another spell that's a board clear most likely we got two wild pyromancers so what we'll do is we'll probably just pass the turn hold on to the coin we could apply pressure by getting a source apprentice out there to get an arcane intellect on turn two but it's better off saving the coin to use with a pyromancer Novice Engineer, we'll play that, see what we draw into. Save on to our useful cards there. We could combo the Brewmaster with the Engineer there to draw an extra card. But uh, it's not likely it'll survive till turn 4, because we're probably going to Arcane Intellect next turn. Okay, so he's got a decent start right off the bat there. Ooh, that's dirty. Okay, so turn 3. 3-6 three, with Rush, that every time it attacks he draws a card. We're just gonna play the Voodoo Doll. We'll get two draws out of that, which is pretty good. But it's not gonna just snowball beyond that. Paladins don't run silence, so... Not much he can do. Stops him from magnetizing that even further to do a ton of damage. Yeah, he's just going to use his whole turn to draw a card there. Instead of apply pressure on the board. I mean, it is getting the plus two, plus two, so that is going to be a little bit scary. But, uh, we're not in a terrible position here. Hopefully all our draw power isn't at the bottom of the deck. Like, I've tinkered around with the uh, Pocket Galaxy and the Joy Buzz with Seathun, but this is just so much more consistent. Because if you ever draw a Mechathon, with the Galaxy or Joy Buzz, then you gotta worry about like reducing it by two with the Galv, 
shuffling it back into your deck with a banker, and that's like, no, just, that's not happening. This deck is just really consistent, all low cost minions, low cost spells. We get the Sorcerer Apprentice out there, draw two cards, get some value on the board, and uh, draws a bit of our deck. Also lets us play the magic trick here. We're gonna take the research project because like it's just our whole goal here is to draw out our deck. Those are some other good cards and other decks you definitely take them but and we'll blow the book of specters. Milling spells doesn't really matter. Sucks that we got rid of a snap freeze there but three less cards in the deck for the mechathon combo. We did get the Luna, so we can combo with that. We'll just uh, hope that we don't mill our second Snap Freeze with our Book of Spectres at the end of the game. Because taking Fatigue damage really does suck with this deck. You want to uh, save your other Book of Spectres for the end. Just prevent that, mill your last few cards so that you don't get like Arcane Intellect or a uh, Research Project as your last card there. And just screw yourself. Okay, we drew into a research project with the research project, so our opponent only gets to draw 4 out of 5 cards there, where we get to draw 5 out of 5, because he is going to get milled next turn. He's got a scary hand, most likely, but like he has to play it all. We do have the two Frost Novas already, so we're not exactly terrified. We can clear the board with our Pyromancers, or at least get the board really low. We have a Brewmaster and a Galv, they're both Galvs actually though, so unless we draw the Mechathon, those are some dead cards. Let's get some pressure on the board, make him trade for something instead of doing face damage, and then uh, like if he does let the Pyromancer live, we can damage the whole board. If he lets the Apprentice live, we can play spells for less, which he's probably more scared about the Apprentice honestly. Oh, so he is buffing his hand just to insane levels here. Doesn't care if we clear the board right now with the Wild Sorcerer. Wild Pyromancer. God, can't get my cards right. Perfect. Okay, so there's a second Snap Freeze. We'll save that for the OTK. Uh, and then we can blow our Brewmaster. Don't have to worry about saving it because we'll draw the second one. We only have to get the Mechathon down to a 7 cost. I mean, assuming we don't mill both our Ray of Frost, we might still have to get the Mechathon down to a 6 cost, but it's not all that likely. Clear the board a bit. Prepare ourselves for all the insanity he's going to do next turn. And we are at 9 cards, so we want to get rid of a few in our hand. I'm okay just throwing the Bue map. Brewmaster out there to apply some pressure. Maybe he has to remove it next turn instead of playing cards. And we'll get the second Pyromancer out there too to set us up with the uh, Luna and Book of Spectres. We can just draw a bunch without milling ourselves there. Probably not going to play the Book of Spectres though because it's best to save it for a few more turns here until we're right at the end of our deck. But with the 6-4 damage on board, he uh, He's going to have to play something really big, or else we can just trade and clear it. And then we have two Frost Nova, so even if he does play... Oh, here it comes. Okay, so everything in his hand has plus four, plus four. This is going to get a little bit crazy. That's pretty good for four mana. Oh, of course. Okay, so we're going to have to keep that frozen. 17-23, when it attacks, he draws a card. For 5 mana. It's a little bit crazy. So we'll get the Luna out there. Magic Trick's perfect with it. Uh, not the best options. Barrier would be okay. But, I mean, he's already got the 17-23 out. Uh, three mana is going to be a little bit harder to get rid of than the uh, two mana arcane explosion. Two mana intellect might troll you, give you like a pyroblast or something, so we definitely don't want that. 
Uh, I'm thinking we're just gonna take Arcane Explosion. Uh, not gonna do much for us, but it'll at least clear the board. There's a Ray of Frost, so we're perfectly set for our 7 mana OTK. Oh, Luna just doing some beautiful work here. Get the Apprentice out. Okay, we could freeze his uh, soldier there with the second Ray of Frost, but we'll hold on to it. That's going to give us the end game. If our other Ray of Frost is at the bottom of the deck, then we can... Like, we don't have to worry about uh, the 6 cost Mechathon because we already threw out the Brewmaster. Okay, so that guy's getting pretty big, but he's going to kill his own uh, minion there for us, so... Alright, I guess he has to trade it, so he'll get rid of our Apprentice, which could be worse. There's the minion that'll kill for us. Makes his hero power basically useless. Oh, we finally got the Mechathon, so we can throw out some Galves. We want to draw with the... Here, wait a minute. Five cards left in deck. So we don't want to draw. Um, what to do? What to do? We have the book and the arcane intellect, so that's five cards out of our deck. Ten cards in hand. We're going to use the book of specters because it's just going to mill the rest of our deck. Hopefully, it gets rid of the research project, which it did right there. Brewmaster is all it can draw for us. We've got the two cards left in deck, and we're going to have to use our arcane intellect, but we won't take them ton of mill damage here. Get uh, one of our galves out. Uh, I hate to use the frost over here, but we're gonna have to get rid of both of them in the next turn or two. Next turn we can play a galve, brewmaster it to play it again. Hopefully blow the rest of the cards in our hand and just troll them with the mechathon here. Okay, he silenced the Luna. We had to kill it anyway next turn, probably, so that's for the better. He probably has no idea what's going on. Like, he saw the Galv, so he might know, but... Okay, so we're going to want to freeze both of those. Uh, we'll get the Galv out. We're going to have to use the Arcane Intellect anyway eventually, so... Hmm, we got a bit too many cards in hand to set us up for the win next turn. So we'll use the Ray of Frost that we have in our deck there to keep his board frozen. We can use the Shooting Star to kill, kill that guy in between. Then next turn we'll save the Frost Nova for anything he does. We'll take uh, one, two, three, so about six mil damage. Not that bad. And we're gonna have to clear all our minions anyway. We're gonna keep them frozen, so. We could save it, but no point really. Might as well toss it out there. All those guys have taunts, so anything he plays, we won't be able to trade into. And he's going to do 2 damage to everything at the end of his turn, so... So we're pretty set. All we got to do is save the Mechathon, the uh, Ray of Frost, and the Snap Freeze for our final turn. We'll use the Galv, the Frost Nova, and the Arcane Explosion. Keep his board clear there. Or at least prevent him from uh, killing us. There's no way he can do... What's it going to be? 16... There's no way you can do 14 damage with just what he has in his hand. I love this deck so much. Like, it just has insane draw power. We're on, uh... Like, not far past turn 10 and we've drawn our entire deck there.
we played uh, three research projects, so it shows he only has five cards left in his deck, but he would have 11 if we didn't help him draw six of his cards. And then we've overdrawn by like three cards there, so like just think about that. He would have 11, and then we're at like 33, 34 cards drawn. That's a bit of a difference in like the amount of draw power each player can choose to generate. Okay, so he's got a huge board there. Oh my god, he has so much damage. Like a 21, a 21, a 12, an 8. What do we do? We have no deck? Whoa. <laughs> That's right. We're playing uh, Mecha Thundral. Well Good game. He's gonna flip that table. Like... He is probably so angry right now. <laughs> I'm assuming he saw it coming, but if he didn't, that's even more funny. Uh, like, you don't expect to go against this in Legend. Oh, I love it. Oh, thanks again for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, stay in touch, we got some great videos coming soon, we're going to keep them a lot more frequent, leave some comments below. I love you all, and uh, have a good one.